And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Right. Very briefly, with the help of the Holy Spirit, come to preach to us today what goes around comes around. You may take your seat. What goes around comes around. Amen. I'm already on pre. I can so heavy sit down. What goes around comes around. Amen. Bible study this week, the Lord had me to remind those of us who were listening and paying attention that this is the season as, as things get warmer, things get to be a little wild. Amen. We, we begin to do things. We begin to go back to, to, to shopping more, eating, eating out more, doing recreational activities, going different places, you know, doing all types of comfortable things that we couldn't do when we were cooped up in the house. We did things in the wintertime, but we had clothing, more clothes, and we had to prepare because it was so cold. I said, but when it gets to be a little bit warmer and spring has sprung or began to spring forth, as my, as my mama used to say, we began to smell ourselves. I can't get no help in here. We began to smell ourselves, and we began to sometimes uh, uh, pick up where we left off when the winter began. You know, we 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 sometimes uh, forget our training. What training is that? That's that's home training. Amen. What, whatever you do, treat your, treat others. Like you want to be treated. Amen. 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 I'm going to hit that rewind button again. Treat others like you want to be treated. Amen. Amen. And, and one of the things about this, this uh, and not just during this season, but all the time, especially during, this, during these years of COVID, some, some of us have, have been lying in wait and sometimes doing things privately and sneakily and doing certain things and saying certain things to other folk, but we forget that what you put out into the atmosphere eventually it's going to come right home back round to you. I can't get no help in here that. Whatever, how you treat somebody today, how you talk to them today, eventually that same attitude, those same things that you said, even if it's of good, Especially if it's a bad, whatever it is, how you treated a person somewhere along the way, it may take some time, but it will come back around to you. Some things happen quickly. Amen. Some things happen quickly. <clears throat> you can't you can put plots of, of evil out in the atmosphere and think that no evil is going to come back to you. We have a saying, if you dig one ditch, you better dig two. That ain't the scripture. Scripture said that you dig that one hole, and you mean it for somebody else. That's your hole. Hallelujah. That's your hole. We, we, we sometimes forget that when we get grown, we think when I'm grown, I can do what I want to do. Can I get some help in here? When we get grown, we think I'm going to do what I want to do. Anybody tell me anything? And we forget everything. But when trouble comes back, with the trouble that we pushed out there, we seem to forget what we put out into the atmosphere. That whatever we speak, it has power. Words have power. I can't get no help in here. I said words have power. When the word soul, it actually means to invest. Okay? When you, when you, when you, when you, when you invest into something, you believe that there's going to be a return that's reaping. Okay? You have to, uh, there are, there's a few things that happen when you sow. When you sow anything, you have a, a belief that whatever you sow, that there is something that's going to happen back. You want to you have a, a, a belief, you want to have some faith. Okay? But you also have to have patience. Okay? Because you may have faith to plant it, but you also got to have patience that it will come back eventually to you. But you also got to have an expectation. 